Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali, if you guys don't already know me. And today, I'm gonna be doing a what's in my bag video. I've never done this before on my channel because at first I was like, why would they wanna see like what's in my bag? It's literally like a bunch of like random shit. <laughs> but then I was thinking it could be interesting because honestly, I've always been known to have like the fun bag, like with everything in it. I've always prepared. I always feel like that mom that carries around everything that her kid needs. So some may call this what's in my handbag video and some may call this what's in my suitcase video. But the bag I'm showing you guys today is the Michael Kors Jet Set travel multifunctional tote. Wow, that was a lot of words. I think that's the whole name. I'm pretty sure I have the largest version, but I could have a medium. I don't know, I really don't know. I got this purse last December and I haven't changed it since, other than putting like my wallet into like a little satchel for like going out or something. But other than that, this has been my go-to handbag. What I love about it is that it has a compartment for a laptop or an iPad. So I actually started using this bag instead of my backpack just to carry around to my sorority house and back to my apartment. So before we get started, don't judge me for whatever is in here because I like literally did not even organize it before. I'm sitting down to film this video because I thought I needed to organize my purse. So this could be really interesting. So first of all, it looks like this. As you can see, it really does look like a little carry-on suitcase. It's so huge and I love it because I can stick my camera in here, I can stick my computer in here, maybe not all at the same time, but you know, at different times. And it's just so nice because I don't have to pick and choose what I have to put in my purse for the day. Okay, I'm scared, guys. All right. The first thing I see are poppets. Um, yeah, you gotta have these in your purse. Just kidding. I went to the dollar store yesterday, and I was like, oh my god, mommy, can you please buy me these? Like, they are such a childhood memory because every, like, 4th of July, me and my sister would, like, just go hand throwing these on the sidewalk, so I had to get them, and I just put them in my purse because I thought I was gonna, like, put them somewhere else. Okay. Yeah. So yesterday I bought hair ties as well. These are really nice to have in your purse because every time I go in the shower, I take off my hair bands and then I forget to put them back on. So I love having these in my purse just to like grab whenever needed. I have my keys in my purse. My car is push to start. So my keys rarely leave my purse because I don't really have to take it out or put them back in for any reason, unless I'm unlocking and locking my apartment. Just some keys, great, fun. Next, I have my vlogging camera. I'm planning to do a video about this vlogging camera. I don't know if it's up by the time you guys see this, but if it is, I'll link it down below. This camera is the Sony A5100, and I love it so, so, so much. You'll find out about that in the video about this. Then I got some pads. Just gotta be safe, you know. I recently bought these vitamins. It's B12, it's just energy support. And I really like having these in my purse because sometimes I'm out doing errands and I just lose my energy so fast. So it's just really nice to have these so I can have like energy instantly. Next are my favorite sunglasses in this whole entire world. These are the Key Australia Vivian Black sunglasses. They fit my face so well, even better than Ray-Bans and they're half the price of Ray-Bans. They look like this on. I just feel like I'm famous when I put them on. Like I feel like Kim Kardashian, you know. Next, I have my super shitty looking Vera Bradley wallet. Honestly, I have always loved Vera Bradley wallets because I've just been so used to them. So I think I bought this my senior spring break. So it's kind of old. I should probably get a new wallet, but I don't know. I'm just so used to like the compartments in this. So I don't really want to change, but this is so bulky. Like, look at this. I don't even put my phone in it because it doesn't fit it. So I feel like I should just get a wallet that doesn't have that phone compartment. But I just have some cards, my ID, some cash, oh, and a nickel. <laughs> and then some gift cards. I still have like gift cards from my graduation. Can I get a round of applause, please? <laughs> Next, I have some salted almonds. If you know me, you know that I have like an oral fixation. It's weird. I just always like to chew on things. It used to be popcorn kernels. That used to be my thing. Comment down below if you eat popcorn kernels too, because I always feel so weird when I do it. Like. Every time my friends make popcorn, I'm like, hey, can you like save me the kernels? And then they think I'm like so weird. But I found a healthier alternative. So I just got some almonds. These are so convenient to have in your bag. So I really recommend having food at all times in your bag. You never know when you're gonna get hungry or 
hangry, shall I say. So then I tried to be organized and have this Ziploc bag with all of my lit products in it, but that didn't work out because it used to be like filled to here. So all of them are in my bag right now. But I have some lotion, some prescribed ointment for like my upper lip. I've talked about it so many times, but I have like a really dry upper lip. I think it's my eczema. And then some lip liners, lip glosses, ColourPop, um, Limbo. That was a fail, right? Being organized. <laughs> but after this video, trust me, I'm gonna sit there, organize my purse, and feel so great about myself. Then next, of course, you gotta have some deodorant because you never know when you're gonna get so nervous and just sweat. Funny story, sometimes when I make like a driving mistake, I sweat so much. Like if I turn and somebody beeps at me, I sweat so much because I'm like so like mad at myself or like nervous or like sad. I don't even know what emotion it is, but this is my best friend when that happens. <laughs> Next, I have Advil. Literally, life saver. You never know when you're gonna get a headache. And sometimes people will literally ask anyone for like Advil in our sororities PC group me. I always got my sisters. Guys, I feel like this is gonna be a long video. There's just so much stuff. This is just some five gum, you know. Gum is a good thing to have in a purse because you never want to have smelly breath. I feel like I have smelly breath a lot, so this is really good for me. <laughs> then I have this perfume from Victoria's Secret. This is literally so old, guys. I don't even go through perfumes a lot because I don't really use them for some reason. I just use deodorant and forget about perfume. So this is the very sexy fragrance. And then I got some cheese sticks in here. You never know when you might need a cheese stick. I'm lactose intolerant, but I still love dairy products. That ain't stopping this girl. Going along with dairy products, I have these lactose intolerant pills. They just help me digest it better. Next, I have a nail file. My nails chip so much, and if I don't have like a file round and they chip, it bugs me the whole day, and I just can't take my mind off of it. I found an earring in here. I wonder if I can find the pair. Next, I have the Shiseido Quick Fix Mist. I talked about this in my Summer Essentials video, and I'm literally obsessed with this. If you're shopping all day and then wanna go out to dinner in the night, but you can't redo your makeup, and your makeup feels really gross in your face, this helps so much. It literally feels like you just redid your makeup. It is like a refreshing spray, and the Sephora lady also said it has acne-fighting products in it. So that is definitely a plus. Next, I have just this little hand cream that my mom gave me. Sometimes I accidentally walk out of the house with ashy legs and ashy arms. So it is really important for a girl like me to have this in her purse. This is getting a little too TMI, <laughs> but I have some Pepto-Bismol. Actually, this is like a knockoff brand. Sometimes I eat so bad that I just take these to be safe because I do not want to be praying to the porcelain god at the end of the night. I recently had a zit on my nose, <laughs> so I packed my concealer in my purse. This is just the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer, and then I have this little concealer brush. It's a Sephora brush. It says, it's a multitasker concealer brush. So thank you, concealer, for not showing the world my zit. Next, I have a pencil. This is my favorite pencil in the whole entire world. It's funny because on my senior accomplishments in high school, I said that I kept the same pencil from junior year to the whole senior year or something like that, and I lost it. I was so sad. I get so attached to my pencils. Seriously, so attached. Next, I have this Bite Beauty lip cram thing. It's in the color Honeyberry. <laughs> it's a really pretty nude color, as you can see right here. It just has a little color swatch. Then I have one of my favorite liquid lipsticks to date. It is Ashen by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm sorry for all the lip products, but you girls gotta have options, right? Next, I have Taupe by MAC, which is another kind of brownish color. I don't know. Then I have Touch by MAC, which is also kind of a brown color. Every nude and brown color is different, right? This one in particular has a satin finish, so it helps to keep my lips a little bit more moisturized than the other one. Then I have this little stylus guy. It is from the dollar store. I use this sometimes when I want to draw on my Snapchat and post it to my story. Then I have some GoPro batteries in here. I think I was using my GoPro one day and just stuck the extra batteries in here, so. <laughs> then I have my favorite, favorite lip balm right now. It's the Rosebud Salve, and I love putting this under or on top of any lip product. Then I have a guitar pick. I told you guys this would be random, right? <laughs> if you guys didn't know, I used to play guitar, and I still kind of do. I don't know. It's somewhere in the corner there, but I feel like I don't really touch it that much. So I gave my guitar to Ryan to, like, practice to play, but he never used it, so I just took it back. 
that's why I have it in here. <laughs> then I have an SD card in here because cameras are life. And the amount of times I had to bring my camera somewhere and forgot my SD card, I don't even want to talk about it. Then I have a dollar bill because stripper. <laughs> then I have some Taco Mac mints. These are like the best mints in the world. Every time I go to Taco Mac, I have to grab like a handful of them because I have to stock up for my purse, you know? Then I just have my Apple Watch chillin' in here. For some reason, I haven't been wearing it that much, which is super awful of me. I really need to start wearing this. And especially because this gold strap is everything. Look at it, it's so cute. The last thing I have in my purse is probably the best thing you could ever bring in your purse. And it is portable chargers. I usually always bring more than one because I feel like I never keep track of which ones are charged. This one is probably my best one. I think it can charge your phone like up to two times and I think it was like $50 from Nordstrom Rack. And then this one, my dad gave it to me because he got his like company name written on it. But you can buy these on Amazon for so cheap. So that's it on my what's in my bag video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I know I had some like really weird stuff in there. I'm sorry you guys had to see that. But I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!